Hi, we're those two Brits. And today we're talking about what we loved and hated about Orlando, Florida. Good one. Thank she didn't you. get it confused. She's been rehearsing, guys. Thank you, guys. Because you know what I'm like? I'd be like, oh, we're leaving Florida now. We're going to Miami. And Joel would be like, oh, no, Miami's still in Florida. So I was like, well, it doesn't make it sound like we're going anywhere. Yeah. So we're leaving Orlando. We're going to Miami would have been the yes. correct place. Even at the conference, Leo would be like, oh, so we've just been in Florida. And now oh, we're Oh, my here. God, it was so embarrassing. We've just been in Florida. We've just been in Florida and they're like, still in you're Flor still in Florida. Florida. Yeah, I should have said, we've just been in Orlando. That's it. I should just say, we've just been in Disney. Yeah, then there's no one. No, no, right. Anyway, so what do we so, love and hate? So we were in Orlando for like only four days. It was a whirlwind trip. We yeah. actually stayed at my parents' house. Uh, yeah. My parents have a home in Florida. Yeah. So we got to stay there rent free, which was great. But the car hire was blooming expensive. The car hire basically cost what we would have spent on an accommodation. Yeah. So I think it was like 800 pounds for four days, which is ridiculous. That was expensive. Mm. Yeah. And I, I feel like the car wasn't even... Actually, we had a nice car. Yeah, I like it. It was a, a nice Jeep, Jeep, not a Wrangler. But a Jeep. Yeah, it was just a Jeep Jeep. Just yeah. like a normal Jeep. Jeep Jeep. Jeep Jeep. And I really liked it. I thought a lot of food places, a lot of places lot. you could drive to, a lot of car parks. A lot of car parks. We did actually say that we should go back to Orlando and just purely go up and down these roads and stop at every food place. And I just do, do every food place. Waffle House, Red Robin, Chili's, Miller's, like just every food one. videos. Every single one. Yeah, and just come back four times the size. Yeah. It's worth it. Worth like, it for the, for visit. the content. For the content, yeah. yeah. You go there, then you go there, then you go there. Like, it's just so straightforward. Yeah, it's I true. mean, we should potentially do that yeah. in one time. If only you could, like, you know how sometimes our very kind viewers will donate funds towards those trips to yeah. help ease the burden of the cost of the trip? Like on our coffee page, yeah. yeah. I wish they could send us calories so <laughs> that when we're eating all this food, yeah. we're not putting on weight. That Because they've given us, imagine if someone gave us 3,000 calories. Oh, yeah. And then we're like, oh, great, like, that's 3,000 calories I can eat without putting on any Way. Oh my gosh, so basically, is that a gifting money you can gift people? Is it a made up concept? Yeah, it's yeah, made up I'm concept. following, I'm following. That's the future. Yeah, I like it. Picasso. Anyway. Oh my god! Wow! Picasso. Picasso. No, I like Honestly, it. Honestly, forward thinker. Forward thinker. Okay, so yeah, lots of food places, lots of car parks. Can I say that I liked it or I disliked it? It was more just an observation about mm. the area. What else? Well, you didn't did really I get observe? to see because we didn't have enough time to like, I didn't get to take Leah to any places I go with my family, really. Like nature reserves, bike yeah. rides. Although we did go to Celebration on a bike ride. Yeah, did a nice bike ride on Celebration. Yeah, and the nice yeah. houses. There were some really nice house hunting there. We mm -hmm. did go past some really amazing properties. Yeah. We were like, who lives here? No one's yeah. coming out of their house. Yeah, it's conspiracy. It was really spooky. What do you think of the Columbia restaurant? That was actually Cuban, but it's called Columbia. Is that the one we went to as our bougie night? Yeah. I liked it. Mm. I think I like I had a massive tomato salad, I think. Yeah, you did. Was it lentils, like kidney beans kidney or lentils? Beans. Or I had be I just I had a very nice vegan dish and it was nice because I'd had a lot of meat. I feel like I'd had a lot of meat. Have I had any meat on that trip? Yeah. I, I feel like I must have been eating meat because we were doing all our food videos. By that stage we'd been in North America for over two weeks because we'd been in Toronto, Toronto for like 10, 11 days and then Nashville for a week. So by that stage we yeah, we must have eaten loads oh, of meat. Oh gosh, yeah. I must have been absolutely full to the brim with meat. <laughs> <laughs> My God! Can't say that seriously. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I was really, I really enjoyed the food we had at this place in mm. celebration. What did you enjoy? I enjoyed the day where we just laid by the pool. Again, I can't fully remember it. It wasn't a full day. I think it was like it, three hours. Yeah, probably. But it was just nice to be like, you know what? Let's yeah. have a break. We've been so busy. Yeah. We're also about to fly to Miami where we'll be even busier. Yeah. So let's have an afternoon by the pool. Yeah. So again, don't fully remember it exactly. Maybe because I've been back since. Yeah. So it all meshes into one. But yeah, I like that you can predict the weather a bit more and that it was always warm. Oh, yeah. I know. I don't remember it going, wow, it's unbearably hot. No. I was ready to feel like, oh, it's going to be hot and uncomfortable, but it was actually fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You have to take your jacket with you every 
everywhere though. Yeah, so that's the thing with me. When we go somewhere, I have to take my coat ready to get inside the with the AC and get it on. And then as soon as we leave, I take it off. So it's like having a backwards way of having a jacket or yeah. coat. So yeah, that's one of my little pet peeves when I'm away. I always need a bag big enough to fit my, my hoodie and my coat in. I can't just take my little short, like my little clutch bag and be like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm not okay. No, it's just not okay. One time, Joel had to wrap me up in a napkin. Yeah, had to literally find napkins, napkins. and drape one over one shoulder, one over yeah. the other, one over her head even, just to try and keep her warm. It's just crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Didn't we once at Cheesecake Factory ask them to turn down the aircon yeah, a few times? We were like, asked. excuse me, can, can you tell Chef to turn down the aircon? <laughs> Can you tell Cher? Can you tell Cher to put the really heating on? And they were on. like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll tell my manager. And we're like, you definitely haven't. No so way. we asked them again. No, they never would. No. no. It's just too cold in there, guys. Yeah, it is cold. How are you not freezing? My hair's always stand on end in those places. Yeah. One okay. thing I didn't enjoy as much as I expected was Epcot. Okay. And I'd been to Epcot before. We only went to one Disney park um, and we chose Epcot, but we went on a food and wine festival day. Yeah. So it wasn't like the normal festival and it was rammed. Like, it was busy. so it was really busy. busy. Um, we couldn't find breakfast anywhere in the run-up to going because everywhere was busy. It was a Sunday. Yeah. So we ended up having breakfast in Morocco, which we loved because we love hummus and we love chicken and prawns yeah. and like all sorts. But And I think that's why it was empty because no one else really wanted that for breakfast. But no. we did. We really enjoyed that part of Disney, didn't we? Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what the other options of the parks were because I'm not super familiar with the Disney parks. No. I think I went once as a as a kid. But you were thrilled because I remember in the video you said as well that like your expectation of food at the park was just like oh, greasy burgers. Yeah. But we actually had some really good food. So my food expectations were really low. I knew that that day would probably be eating pure junk food and mm. I knew that it's not my favourite type of food. So when we got there and we had like the sort of yeah Moroccan food, we had pita bread, hummus, we had like you know salads with pomegranate seeds on it, just nice colourful food. I was mm. like, oh, I'm actually, when your expectations are that low, no. any, anything can make Definitely. you feel good. So yeah, I did enjoy that. And then Disney as a whole, like I I did enjoy a few of the rides. We went on one ride. Did we go yeah. on it twice? Because I loved it so soaring? much. Like, loved soaring. That was, so, yeah, Leah was really screaming like loved. the child. Remember the child next to us. It was like, whoa! This is amazing! And it I was, was like, so I cute. know, this is so Leah good. was also like the child, like, whoa! I would love that ride. I'd love to go on like, I, I absolutely know. loved soaring. Wasn't it so good? And like the yeah. smells when it went through like <gasps> with the long grass with the elephants, suddenly you smelt grass and like Oh, it was uh. amazing. And then oh, what's her what name? Happened? We met our Carly. viewer, Casey Carly. Carly. Is it Carly? I'm so sorry, Carly, Casey I think it was Carly. Carly. I think it was Carly. Yeah. And Carly came up to us and went, Hello, me legend, out oh, of nowhere. Oh, that was amazing. And I think it took us a moment to compute. I think we were like <laughs> So we were like, what? That's, that's a joke between us and yeah. our viewers. And then we're like, you're a viewer. You're a viewer. And it was just so nice. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, so it ended up being like a, it was a good day. But I guess yeah. we, the park was just so busy that we didn't really fully, no. I guess, enjoy it. How much yeah. did you enjoy that, guys? Yeah, and it was that just enjoyable? too rough. Well, we're not park people necessarily, but no. it might be nice to experience a proper day at the park with someone who knows how to do the parks. Yeah. Because we're not like Disney experts. fanatics or Disney experts. Yeah. yeah. We don't know how to do it. Whereas we've got friends like Brogan yeah. who loves Disney. She knows all of the hats, all the things she to do. She plans things out and it's like, actually probably going with someone like her would someone be a completely planned. different experience oh yeah like we have no plan we just walked around yeah like there was no plan no but that's fine that's just that's the way we us. roll that's those two brits yeah all over. and i think we kind of as a a subscriber gave us access to the parks yeah and we we had access to any park we wanted so to go kind. to we chose that one didn't yeah. we because we only had one day to spend mm. there and like when I came home and told people that, they could not believe that we did take the opportunity to go to all of them or extend the stay to be able to go to as many as four. Oh, wow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I like, mean, it would be an incredible experience as well to stay it. in a Disney hotel. Yeah. Because that's a completely different experience than having a villa. Because on the Disney hotel, you can get on a boat and go park to park, or you can get on the sky thing in the cable cars. Yeah. And like... Like, if I ever had kids one day, like, it'd be magical for them. Yeah. to experience that and then yeah. like they're just having the time of their lives if 
<laughs> is Disney still going to be big? Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, sure. But like, you could just imagine that for a kid, that would be everything. Yeah. Or if you're an adult that's still massively into Disney, that's cool too. Like mm. you're living your big dream. Kid. Big kid. So yeah, that's okay. what, what else did we hate and love and love and hate? Any highlights um, of Orlando? I can't remember. I can't remember any of it. Oh, a low light. Go on. Actually, I don't Always think this was just Orlando. I think this was everywhere in America at the moment. A staff shortages, particularly servers, where then the service is so slow. Like, yeah. really slow, isn't yeah. it? And you can tell that it, they're overworked because there's lots of empty tables and, the, and we had to wait ages for a table. And then there's signs in the window being like, now hiring. So obviously to do with COVID, they probably, I don't know why they've lost people working for them, but yeah. they seem to have done. So it might have been like what happened with the airlines where they cut they cancelled those people's jobs because nobody's walking through the door because of covid and then now that they're able to fully function again there's just not enough people that are trained up and working there because they've mm. all left so they're waiting so, to train them up yeah okay so that's what's happened in the uk with like all the airlines that have had mm. massive problems just no staff yeah and it might have happened as well worldwide with with um people mm. getting laid off with the jobs with covid the world's just been upside down really hasn't Isn't it guys it? and that's the thing you can't be too mad about it so we were obviously like yeah. I think we were very understanding so oh, again rarely are we ever in a rush no but, rarely <laughs> very rarely apart from one time when we were at Denny's and we were like sorry two hours for a table yeah and we were like we've got we've got to get to Epcot yeah we can't be doing we were this like, no we're not waiting for more than 15 minutes for no. a table sorry sorry but no unless they let you walk around so I remember one time we went to in Nashville I think we went to Macaroni Grill and they told us they'd text us when the table was ready so we just walked around the mall went shopping oh, and then I we like got a text that. and then we went so that was good. Oh, I like that. Good memory, Joel. Yeah, but that was the terrible stuff. That was a bad day. That was really bad. But and anyway. we're late for our live stream because of it. Oh, of course. Yeah. Gosh. Anyway. anyway. Anyway, Orlando, Florida, Disney said everything. Well, stay tuned. We're going to do a, a review of Miami yes. in the next coming weeks. Stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed, why not? Why not? Why not? Do you have any question why not? Yeah, subscribe, it's free. Don't be a hate watcher. No, we can see that lots of you are not subscribed and you're watching. Yeah. And that's annoying. And that's offensive. It is. Offensive. Come on. Okay. Uh, if you're everything Joel just said, and we'll see you in the next one. See you soon, Take guys. Care. Bye. Bye.